Hey what's up everyone, it's Justin here and today we're going to be learning the D chord. This is a super important chord and it's also really fun as it's used in many songs. So make sure your guitar is in tune and that you're sitting with good posture and let's get started. To play the D chord we're going to be using our index, middle, and ring finger. Now when playing the D chord we don't strum the low E or A string. So starting with the D string we're just going to leave it open, meaning that we don't hold down any frets and we just let it ring out. On the G string, we're going to place our index finger on the 2nd fret. On the B string, we're going to place our ring finger on the 3rd fret. And on the high E string, we're going to place our middle finger on the 2nd fret. So this is what your D chord shape should look like. Now when you first learn the D chord, you may find that your ring finger tends to stay closer to the index and middle finger, when what we want is for it to be closer to the next fret. It'll be uncomfortable at first, but slowly try to practice moving it closer to the next fret, as it'll make your D chord sound more clear. Now let's play the D chord string by string to make sure that they're all sounding nice and clear. And remember, we don't play the low E or A string. Don't worry if your D chord doesn't sound that great yet. Remember, practice makes perfect. Some important things to keep in mind are to use the tips of your fingers and also keep them arched, as you don't want to accidentally mute the lower strings. A common mistake is to accidentally mute the high E string with your ring finger. This can be prevented by keeping your fingers arched. Also make sure that you're keeping your arm and hand relaxed, and also keeping your thumb at the back of the neck for support. Hope you guys enjoyed that video on learning the D chord. If you did, please feel free to hit that like button, and I'll catch you in the next video.